Welcome to this presentation on planned giving, which will explore the many ways that friends and members of First Congregational Church may financially support the ministry and mission beyond checks and cash contributed in worship or via checks or realm contributions sent to the church office. Our focus is always on the ministry and mission of FCC. Our financial contributions are made as expressions of our faith lives and are among the spiritual disciplines that are part of our commitment to follow the ministry of Jesus. FCC's recent dream statement coming out of the appreciative inquiry process clearly reflects the direct input of over 100 individuals and households who were interviewed regarding their future vision for FCC. Grounded in encounters with God, the holy, and relationships with one another, FCC will serve and share within the church and larger community. With doors wide open, respect for different spiritual paths, a focus on education, a variety of music and arts, vibrant worship, an embrace of diversity, inclusive practices, and care for the earth, FCC will be a community presence of love and generosity. Some may ask about the timing of a presentation on planned giving when our society is going through, going through so many financial challenges. Decisions about planned giving may not be at the top of our minds right now, but we are all considering the values, the missions that bring us joy, and the way we make decisions about what expenditures of resources are important and priority to us. Planned giving takes the long view of how we take care of and share the gifts that God has entrusted to us. As you consider the possible recipients of God's gifts to you, please be assured that FCC makes a priority of honoring the wishes of the gift giver. We have a gift acceptance policy which spells out FCC's convictions and guidelines around gifts that are shared with it. The policy is mounted on our web page. Members and friends may make contributions of a general nature with no strings attached, or contributions may, de may be designated in accordance with FCC's gift acceptance policy. In addition, FCC has six funds, four under the umbrella of the Permanent Opportunity Fund, and the two created through the NST initiative, the Benevolence Fund and the Joanne Peterson Music Fund. These funds may be of interest to members and friends who would like their financial gifts to be pooled with other gifts, the interest of which will support the ministry and mission of the church for years to come. The Congregational Enrichment Fund is intended to encourage and support FCC ministry groups, committees, and other recognized groups to promote evangelism and enrich the spiritual, emotional, and physical life of the congregation and community through a grant process. The Community Mission and Outreach Fund is intended to encourage community-based partnerships in support of aligned missions, visions, and values in the service of God's work in the world through a grant process. The operating fund from which interest income is added to the annual budget and the facilities fund from which interest income is added to the maintenance reserve fund, which is managed by the building and grounds ministry group. 10% of the income is used for environmental initiatives in partnership with the green team. Seated from the NST are two funds, the Benevolence Fund, from which the Benevolence Ministry Group may fund benevolence opportunities, and the Joanne Peterson Music Fund, which the FCC Music Ministry Group may fund new music-related opportunities. 
Most often, <clears throat> FCC receives contributions in the form of cash, checks, and electronic deposits as part of worship or during the week from members and friends' wages, salaries, and retirement benefits. However, among our membership, some may have assets in additional categories that they wish to give. Business equity, uh, homes and other properties, uh, various securities, pension accounts, or other liquid assets. Planned giving gives FCC the ability to receive appreciated securities and to promote IRA charitable rollovers and uh, inspire other legacy gifts. Some may also want to consider gifts from, uh, from assets like appreciated stock, from an IRA in order to meet the required minimum distribution, or a gift from a donor advised or family foundation. Generally, there are a lot of gifts that can help later. For example, planned gifts through a will or trust. A good example of this is the generous bequest from our recently passed member, Nancy Norgard. Uh, perhaps it was at her attendance at one of the previous planned giving seminars that began her thinking about making a big difference for FCC by naming the ministry and mission of the church in her will. Nancy's very generous gift seeded the Permanent Opportunity Fund, described earlier in this presentation, which makes possible annual grants from the fund's interest for innovative ministry in our congregation and the wider community. There are other ways to make a planned gift later on, in addition to wills and trusts. For example, naming the church as a beneficiary of a bank account or retirement account, or even to a life insurance policy. Should you wish to maintain the income from a gift while still giving the amount, there are other options. For example, a gift annuity, which provides a guaranteed level of income to the donor based on the interest rate when it is set, or a charitable remainder trust, which provides income based on market performance to the donor. Please consult your own financial and legal advisors before making a gift. Will you join us in making a commitment to the future of First Congregational Church and our local and worldwide mission and ministry? Whether you make a gift now, a gift later, or a gift that pays income, your commitment will ensure that FCC will have a more secure and thriving future. Because of your generosity, we can ensure that FCC will always be there for future generations. Thank you for your attention.